It's been an interesting time. So what we have been doing with the girls has been doing our Zoom meetings and Johan, our S&C coach, has been putting on Zoom bike sessions, Zoom Pilates and Zoom core stability and uh, set, setting the girls a standard routine of what they should be doing or what they could be doing while they've been in COVID. So it's been a challenging time, but um, I think we've done a really good job at keeping the girls engaged. It's been a great opportunity for the QBE uh, Swifts Academy girls that we've brought up into our Swiss training program over the last couple of weeks when we've been training. Um, it's been absolutely essential that we are in a bubble, so they have had to abide by all the COVID and uh, our AMS standards. And it's been a fantastic to see our young guns who have previously missed out on either the Australian National League or with the under 17s, 19s nationals being cancelled. Uh, it's been great to see them get out on court and, and put it out there and, and test our Swiss. So uh, the QBE Academy has been a great addition to the SWIFT's um, training environment. One of our first ones is Leilani Rovida and she is uh, now working with the Penrith Association and she's uh, a regional athlete who is now working in that wing defence centre spot who has been showing great tenacity in what she can do on, um, on how she's going about a business and it's been a fantastic opportunity for her. Uh, we also have Kristen Kessler from uh, Central Coast who's been coming down and she's a mid-quarter who has uh, had a great uh, pathway through the Netball New South Wales pathway and now the QBE uh, Academy. Um, and our other players of course are Olivia Coleman from Eastwood Ride and our other training partner is Kelly Singleton from Manly. So uh, it's been a great opportunity for those girls to really challenge us and to provide them a training environment actually on court.